I never met my grandparents. They were already gone a long time before I was born. Both of them died in their forties. Both of them within a couple of years of each other. My father, young as he was, became the patriarch of the family. He told me about the cold mornings when he'd have to hitch the horse to the milk cart to start his round. It didn't pay much, but there weren't that many opportunities. Now, even as I write their story, I feel some sadness inside. A sadness and a pride, I suppose. Most of all, I feel a gratitude to those who came before me. I really do, as the saying goes, stand on the shoulders of giants. Or perhaps that should read heroes. I remember the words of my father all those years ago. I remember him telling me about his mother and her exploits. And me, me looking for a shilling to buy sweets. I wish I'd listened. I really wish I'd listened. Today, we sit comfortably in our homes. We take our freedoms and our liberty for granted. We are part of that blessed generation that grew up in peace and democracy. We are lucky indeed. Like some hothouse flowers, safe behind the glass, we look out at the howling wind and the rain. We may wonder, imagine that fury, but we are cocooned in our safe, warm, well-nourished world. And so it is with war. We may hear the rumble of artillery, but it's elsewhere, another place, another time. We talk about its injustice and how unfair it all is, but it's not us who are suffering. We hear talk of prayers being said, words whispered, when those words should be loudly spoken, and brothers stand with brothers. We must never forget that the liberty and peace we enjoy is a precious thing, something our ancestors wrestled from the hands of others. It is a struggle that goes on even today. It sometimes requires men of action, brothers and sisters, to stand together and put their safety on the line. Courage is a strange thing. Is indefinable. Maybe it's born of desperation or anger, or maybe it's born of simple circumstance. I often think about my ancestors and wonder if any of that spirit resides in me. I believe that sometimes the thing we call courage is simply something to do with love. Love of our family and the need to stand strong when life and circumstance threaten. Thank you, Richard Malloy. Thank you, May Ivers. <laughs>